Wow. Yeah. I find it extremely hard to believe that we are in a time where political assassinations are still happening in real life and not just the thing of yeah. fictional writers. It's Good afternoon, YouTube. What's it's good, good YouTube? to be back. We wish we were back under better circumstances. The world is crazy right now, but we are back. <laughs> Studio B21 coming at you again with another reaction, and this is extreme. This it's is ex wow. It's extreme enough to subscribe down below. Yep. Over there somewhere. Let us know what you think about this in the uh, yeah, comments. We need to know the comments. You've come, on this you've one. come, you've seen the title. You want our opinion on it? Feel free to put your opinion down in the comments. Like we want to see what the world thinks about this. Yeah, because this is a uh, this is major. This is major. This it is the leader of free, the former leader of the free world. Yep. You know, and uh, another JFK situation. Almost, almost. You know? So. For those of you who have been living under a rock for the last 24 hours... Um, at time of recording. At time of recording. It is, not to date ourselves, but July 14th. Uh, 2024. The year of our Lord, apparently. But yesterday, July 13th, in Pennsylvania, I believe it was? The Pennsylvania rally. Yes. Well, chaos. Uh, chaos. Insanity. At a Trump rally. At a Donald J. Trump rally. Well... You would expect that, but not the kind that we are about to show you. We do warn you. We have seen the video. It's not that bad. However, trigger warning is still advised. There is blood. There is gunfire. You can actually hear it. Um, but if you've made it this far in the video, we appreciate you. And let's see what happened, because wow. Yeah. Trump was injured after a shooting during a rally in Pennsylvania. Really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oof. You can see in the video President Trump ducking down the moment shots are fired during a rally in Pennsylvania. Shots? I think it was five shots from the shooter, and then he was taken to another plane by Secret Service snipers. Oh, okay. So, in total, eight shots, five of which from the shooter. So, five directed at the former president. And from what I've heard, it might not have been a bullet that hit him, but, and it is unconfirmed, and I stress, I stress that please do not take everything 100%. But speculation. I, it is speculation that what actually hit the former president was a piece of glass off a teleprompter that was shattered by the bullet. Oh, okay. So the, and that would make a lot more sense because with the injury that you're about to receive, that you're about to see on him, it would have to be an incredibly small caliber bullet or even a BB gun to give him that injury. But from, like we've said, we don't know the type of weapon used and the caliber, but it, to me, it doesn't match an AR or something like that. Yeah, because like you're thinking... This guy threw out five shots, and they all missed, so it's like, there might be some barrier in between that you're not seeing. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You know? I would think, honestly, I would think it's practice to, it's almost like, I know, I know it's not always like in the movies, however, to put the president in essentially a box of bulletproof glass, like you've seen in TV shows or movies, so he can do his speech then. Mm-hmm. I would think that would be the norm, but anyways. His face and the crowd cheering him on. In a statement, Trump says a bullet hit the upper part of his right ear. The Secret Service confirms one rally attendee is dead and two others are critically injured. President Joe Biden addressed the nation earlier. Here's some of what he had to say. Okay, I, I just want to make a point there the, about the character of this guy. Yeah. Uh, not Biden, Trump. If you want to go back a little bit here. This guy just got shot at. Yeah. And he's fighting the Secret Service. Who, to, want, to, who want him to stay the fuck down. <laughs> you know? To, like, address the crowd and, like, look at me. You know what I'm saying? Say what you want about this guy. It's like, you know, 
his smarts or whatever, but yeah, he knows how to play a crowd. He knows how to work the people. He, he knows like okay, this I don't is... know. It's like it's, it seems like okay, I got shot at. I'm not fearing for my life. I want this to be a moment. I know, right? So, I I'll try to find it later on and include it in the video. But there actually is a photo I think that shows the bullet like this close from his ear. Wow! Like. And that's just, how, like, it missed by a millimeter, apparently. Wow. So, like, if you're a time traveler... That's... <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm just saying, this, the character of this guy, that's something to be admired. That is. You Most know? people would not be like that after getting shot at. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's, it's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. But the idea idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. I mean, everybody, everybody must condemn it. He said, quote, I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through my skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. God bless America. And you see in that video, you hear the bangs. The former president hits the ground and then is helped up with security. And, you, and there's so much to piece together here. We are getting updates every moment. But one of the most recent updates is that according to some law enforcement officials that this shooter was actually outside of the venue. We know that the shooter was killed by Secret Service. We also know that at least one attendee at this rally was killed during the incident. Trump had that blood on his face. We're starting to see pictures of that. That's him the photo. Raising That's his one of the photos. As he's leaving, but going to be piecing this together for days, I believe. He went to a medical facility. His team says he's fine. We got that statement from the former president as well. It's it's not happening in Eastern Europe no. or somewhere in Asia or Africa. It's it's happening to our neighbors to the south there. And we can't we can't take our eyes off our neighbors to the south. It's chaos. It's because like I don't know in a world where school shootings are the norm and mm -hmm. you know toddlers could shoot anybody just to think that this is impossible as well. I personally think this will actually seal him the election. Yeah, like if this actually was a an assassination attempt from someone like either a republican or a democrat yeah we don't know the motivation of this guy because he is pepsi right now yep he is pepsi he is and... explaining himself to uh Stafuis. yeah so it's just uh, the optics of it and but trump's cap is beautiful with like their whole machine with propaganda and like spinning him in a proper light quite literally you know? this man they were saying about the RNC, this man is about to come out to the RNC to many men by 50 cent. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No, like, <laughs> I'll put five bucks on it. <laughs> Done. I'll put five on Done. it. Done. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you odds, two to one. Right? You saw it here. You saw it here. We're making bets. Many men wish that upon me. I mean, they're not wrong. They're, they are not wrong. But truly, I truly think that this will help seal him the election because this will unite his party around one thing their belief that he can that he is a political persecuted person the president joe biden has had a horrible couple weeks yes with that the whole debate and like the, the last, after, like, a couple like, days before this uh at like a news conference he introduced president Zelensky of Ukraine of the Ukraine as President Putin, which is the guy trying to, which is the opposite guy in the war. Yeah, major mental decline. Yeah, to the point where it's been speculated that Democrats are trying to convince him to drop the presidency right yeah, now. Yeah, that's the thing, and the whole mumbling to boss, to yeah, uh, to buckle. I've been known to mumble once or twice. I can agree with that. Ray, but, but this... I'm not, like, focused on me. 
for the most important job in the world. The one I'm... with the nuclear code. The way that's happening, it will, mark my words, actually divide the Democrat Party because people might just try to write in Kamala's name on the ballot, which will take the numbers away which it, in what he needs. Mm-hmm. And I know it's by Electoral College, which is different from up here in the North, which is by majority. Which we won't get into which the we whole won't get into two-thirds of a person. Whatever. I do not understand it. Yeah. I try not to understand it. Whatever happens, happens. However, America is so broken that they can make jokes out of this five minutes after it happened. Well, that and like... Like, right after it was mentioned by you, I went on like my meme site, my uncensored news yep. where people could filter in. I've seen like him with the blood and the flag in the background yep. and the thing. So and that's like for, for I context, see that I'm just like I'd vote for this guy. For for you context, know? as soon as this happened, I'm guessing within two hours there was a shirt of the pit of the picture printed in time on a t shirt. In Times Square circulating. In Times Square circulating. Now, for anyone in our region of Toronto, the equivalent is as soon as it showed on TV and a photo released, Pacific Mall went into overdrive. <laughs> all the all the fucking Asian t-shirt machine shops, their basement cracked the whip and went into overdrive printing what could be a t-shirt for 20 bucks. Or when the Raptors won the championship and everybody was getting the coactuses. Oh, I know. And, you know, just giving Kawhi the plants and all. But, yeah. Like, but anyways, Nino, this is just on my own personal X. Like, I'm down with the memes. I'm down with everything. My algorithm is memes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But take a look at some of this shit that I found. Like, first of all, there's a keychain getting printed of... For those who don't know, the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who was assassinated two years ago now? Yeah, in recent history. In yeah. recent history, like within the last year and a half to two years. Within our living history, yes. Within within post-COVID history, that's how recent it was. And as you can see underneath, J- JFK. JFK. <laughs> which is a little before my time, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. wow. Not to mention his brother was shot up too, but I know. you know. But wow. And giving a nice earring at the bottom, our new recipient to the assassination attempt list. Yeah, just just make notice of where the holes yeah, are. Because if you uh, do your yes. research, that is actually where they, you know they, they got penetrated. What's a tactful word Oof. for that? <laughs> there is no tactful word for getting penetrated, good sir. Okay. Oh, dear. All right. But to set this one... We are in the midst of the Copa America and the Euro... Which is which both finals football, are today. Football tournament going on. Both Euros are... Both tournament finals are today. England and Spain play so we're in an in, hour. We're inundated with the soccer, football, all over the media. Oh, yeah. So this being a a VAR a review, this is just it's, people. People are creative. I'll give them that. Holy shit! Mm. And yeah, it, it's it's beyond offside just by that little bit. Just by a millimeter, apparently. No, but Holy. it was enough. Wow! And so no goal. No goal. And I know the creme de la creme. The warning for all young girls and boys alike. Never get your ears pierced at Claire's. Oh, my God. Oh. But this, this is what I'm talking about, Nino. Is, Amer- is it their mental toughness that they can make light out of this situation? Or the fact that they are so broken and conditioned to disappointment that this is their first reaction? I think it's just a statement on the the interweb culture today Oof. where it's just we take great tragedy and find humor in it. I know. Which is very much my mental state. You know, where it's just like if you can't find the humor in it, then you're not trying hard enough. Oh, exactly. Right, but 
I, I'm very excited to see what the Trump machine does with this. Listen, I'm telling and you. And what he could do. Because, like, I was, we were around when Trump won the whole thing. And I when know. they were down 15 points. And that machine rallied around and got him the victory. And that whole Make America Great Again. What, when's the last time you saw a president sell merch? Mm. Sell merch and have people wear it. Have Kanye rock it on friggin' the award shows and all that. You know what I'm saying? What's he gonna do with this? And, I agree. And like, what t-shirts? Because I might buy one. For <laughs> no, the memes? Just for the memes. It's just like... And not to make light of the situation, because good lord, it could have been worse. Oh, it could have been very worse. We could have been doing a very different video today. Holy yeah, because, like, as much as, like, I don't agree with Trump and what he is and what he does and whatever, that's my personal opinion, you know, because I'm a socialist. So I'm Canadian, you know. So, like, I, I like universal health care. Yeah. Yeah, I like paying for roads and libraries and stuff like that. Oh, like firefighters? Good Amazing. Job, you know? But that being said, you don't want anybody to, to be out this way. You know? You want to beat them fair and square. You know? And guys, this guy's just a figurehead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? he He's just the part you listen to on the whole friggin' machine of it all. The machine behind him can still operate? Though at a reduced rate without their figurehead, the machine can still operate. It, it's there, and there's lines of succession here. And, However, I know. will admit, if it had gone differently, imagine the new Republican nominee, like, swearing to, like, avenge him and all that to, like, gad, to garner the fucking votes in the, their favor. The friggin' the red state the right, the, the, right, the right speech could easily win that party and also start a civil war um it's like how close were we on july uh january 6th very when they stormed the they stormed the capital on this guy's words so imagine what he said so imagine what he could say of fight for me fight yeah. to get this country back. you know it's like I'm, I'm just picturing like the lineups and like you know the the poor parts the the underrepresented parts, if you get my drip, mm. you know, how bad it was the last election where, like, you got the Trump supporters trying to block these guys from coming in now. Yeah. And now how friggin' pumped up, how more pumped up they'll be. And it's like, they passed laws about that. It was like, you can't give these guys food or water if they're lining up to vote. And, like, how different it's going to be this time it's like, it's like we're only in july the votes in november yeah so a lot more could happen but uh a, a, a presidential candidate getting shot a former president getting shot you know i'm like it's unprecedented yeah it's like we don't have to deal with this in North America, in our... We not, shouldn't have to deal with this, it. This doesn't happen here. That's what I'm saying. You know, it happens in Europe or like Eastern the Europe. Middle, the you Middle know, East. You know, over there. Or it's like, you know, Iran is like getting a helicopter mysteriously going down. Yeah. And it's like, it happens over there. It should not happen here. And it's just like the fact that it did happen here is this eye-opening and just like it's too close to home and this like this is the world we live in now truly with this like honestly guys you never know you never know when it could be your time so go tell someone you love them make, love you man make every day count yeah you know be good to you be be kind to others you know that's all you could do yep you know let us know what you think we thank you for sticking with us and yeah. 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 Comment down below. Happy birthday. Oh, hi. Yeah. Love you guys. Have a great one, guys.